Jamison Tyon left Saturday's start, or at least scheduled start, after throwing some pitches out in the bullpen with a stiff back. We're not sure what the prognosis is long-term, but he could miss the beginning of the season. What does that mean to the Cubs starting rotation? What did Craig Council have to say about that? We're going to talk about Tyon and then the Cubs options and also some guys that are performing really well right now in spring training. All that right here on the Cubs baseball channel. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. That's a great way of saying go Cubs and let's get this party started. The only way that we know how with an introduction. Hey everybody, welcome to the Cubs Baseball Channel. I'm Mick Gillespie at Broadcaster Mick on the socials. All right, well, uh, here in Mesa, Arizona again for Cubs Spring Training and been on the scene for some of these games and then some of these press conferences. And yesterday, I had the opportunity to be there when Craig Council talked a little bit about Jamison Tyon and his injury. Let me just pop that up. And there's names and stuff here. We'll see if we can hear some of this. Likely to do some more diagnostic testing just to see if there's anything. So basically, Council is saying that um, right now, Tyon is going to miss some extended time, and then they're not really sure how long he's going to miss, but he's pretty comfortable with the options. We'll kind of pop back in here right after that giant jet flies over. That's one of the problems that they have in this complex in Mesa. It's right next to the airport. Um, I mean, yeah, I I think, look, never want to lose players. Um, Never want to even consider them. You know, I don't think this, I don't, I don't, I don't think this is a long-term passion. So I don't know, you know, it's not really one of those concerns. Um, but I think this is what's expected. Um, so I think we're in good shape. We've, we've got a bunch of guys still stretched out and ready to keep going. And so we have not ruled anybody out at this point. And, um, so we'll just keep a bunch of guys stretched out. And see how that plays out. And there you go. He said, we'll keep a bunch of guys stretched out and, you know, and obviously see what happens. So not sure about the timeline for Tyon, but I can tell you that yesterday Drew Smiley pitched. He did a really good job uh, in the start. We saw uh, Jordan Wicks pitch at the back end of that game, even though he was in at the end, getting his work, getting the job done. And, and looking really sharp. So I figured Wicks was in the rotation anyway, although you know the starting rotation hasn't officially been named. But now all of a sudden you look past Wicks if he's in and you start seeing, okay, now what are you going to do without Tyon, right? Well, you got Javier Assad, you got Drew Smiley, uh, you've got Hayden Wisniewski as an option. I kind of feel like he's towards the back of that pack between those two guys, Hassad and Smiley both started last year, both had success, although Smiley had great success and then struggled horribly. Hassad was more consistent. So I would say it starts there. You know, maybe you look at a Ben Brown as an option, although it just really doesn't feel like he's going to be in this conversation. Uh, Caleb Killian was having a great spring before his shoulder injury. He's going to be out until the all-star breaks a Don't consider him in this mix as well. Or do the Cubs seriously look to try to figure out how to get Jordan Montgomery? I I don't think that it's going to be Blake Snell. My gut feeling is he's going to end up somewhere like the Angels or the Giants. Jordan Montgomery feels like he's going to end up with the Red Sox. But, you know, maybe you jump back in this again and say, hey, you know what? Even though it's another left-hander, you feel like you'd love to have a a starter, but what Craig council said is, Hey, we got guys, man. And we felt comfortable going into the season with some of the starting pitching that we brought to the table. So spring training now, and this fifth roster 
or this fifth starter spot and roster battle that's going to take place should be really interesting. And I thought Smiley took a big step forward today, mixing up his pitches, getting strikes up in the zone like he likes to do. And uh, obviously the Cubs paid him to be a starter. So maybe this puts him back in that fifth starter conversation uh, with the injury to tie on. Uh, another guy that's had a pretty good spring is David Bodie. And with Ian Happ, uh, you know, still working on the backfields and out of the lineup right now for the regular season games, David Bodie had two more hits yesterday. And he's been one of the best power hitters the Cubs had. Been seeing him play some left field, taking some work in left. So uh, he's definitely trying to get himself into that conversation. Uh, for a utility guy that could play infield and outfield should the Cubs not have Ian Happ in this conversation as we uh, kind of take that step forward. So that's where we are right now, off day today, and we'll see you know, how this thing progresses. But the starting rotation, obviously, without tie-on, with the back injury, Stiff back, you never know how long it's going to take to get that loose. They're going to probably really make sure that he's ready to go when that time comes and not rush him back. Still have a few weeks before the Cubs play the Rangers on opening day. But, you know, the rotation kind of sets up like this. Justin Steele, Kyle Hendricks, Shota Imanaga. I would say that's probably one, two, three. Jordan Wicks, four, and then Justin Smiley, five, or maybe reverse those two. But I would think that right now that's what the rotation's looking like. Although the the thing you like about Wisniewski is he gives you another right-handed option to use to pitch in that spot. Uh, okay, guys, look, a couple things. John Lieber and I had a conversation. It was a crossover show, and, and what I mean by that is – uh, I also do the stuff with Alabama on the uh, uh, what is it? Roll, uh, what is that podcast? It's my podcast. I didn't even tell you what it's called. Um, Bama Tailgate. And he came on the show. And so we had an opportunity to uh, to talk to him there. So it's it's really fun because we got a national championship quarterback and a former baseball player and Jay Coker, who won the national championship and played in the NFL for the uh, the Arizona Cardinals. And then, obviously, a 20-game winner in Lieber. And so uh, that dropped. Talk to Ron Coomer. That's going to drop here soon. So look for that. Could be even today. And then talking to Randy Bush, the uh, the, the longtime Cubs front office uh, guy. Uh, used to be a, a assistant GM. And now he's, I think, a special assistant with the Cubs. Fantastic guy. Great baseball mind. Guy's been around the Cubs forever. And uh, someone that I like a lot. So, just talk about the world of scouting and you know and what's going on with the Cubs and these will be great conversations. But check all of those out on the Cubs baseball channel. Get in there and leave comments, hang out with us. It, it, what I'm trying to do is create a spot where you can sit back, relax, and talk Cubs baseball and hopefully laugh a little bit as well. So uh, that's where we are right now. Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. We'll keep an eye on things going on with the Cubs and we'll talk to you guys again soon. Go Cubs. 